Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today I have come back to share with you what I'm planning to pair with vanilla, Coco Vanilla Storyteller Collection I shared in my shopping video recently. So the 12 by 12s that are from the collection is the floral with the blue check on the back. The watercolour blue and the flowers. The rainbow brush strokes of all the colours in the collection with the rainbows. I'll also show you the A5 papers. I'm only going to bring in half the packet, which is one of each, and you'll see why. So I've got the floral, the navy stitching circles, the brush stroke rainbow the green star the rainbows wood grain hearts the cut apart sheet the flowers in a smaller scale the yellow the butterflies the pink watercolour blue dots the plaid and the hearts don't forget I've also got the 3x4 pocket cards to add to this so let me now show you what also I plan to add to make a kit. I did have to watch Laura Alberts on how to build a scrapbooking stash kit. I've seen it before but I had to remind myself how to not bring everything in the kitchen sink into this kit because it was easy to do and I probably still managed to do it. So let me show you what I'm going to pair with this. I've got some papers from Jen Hatfield The Avenue. So I've got the houses. It's a nice multicolour icon piece. 
on the back it's got the green leaves. I did also bring in the leaves from the same collection. It's also got this nice cream floral on the back. I'll move these together so the multis and everything looks organised and you can see. the picture frames and on the reverse side is a small flower which matches quite well. I also have the yellow gingham from the same collection so happy together. It's also got this floral on the back, which matches quite well with the colours. Next, I've got this heart, the hearts. From Sunkissed by Simple Stories. It's got the cut parts on the back. This is all for also from Sunkissed, and it's a tone on tone check with cutter parts on the back if I wanted next I've got some Kaiser Craft papers which is a text bow and arrow collection this is Kaiser Craft and it's from the finders keepers collection The next one's from Ruby Rocket, Happy Days. Good geometric pattern. And the pink on the back, which is quite nice too. It doesn't quite match the pinks here, but it matches the cameras okay. This one's from Webster's Pages. Cut aparts on the back. This one's from Simple Stories Good Stuff. It's the pink ledger with cutter parts on the back. Here is another ledger from Hello Today. 
by Simple Stories with cut aparts on the back. The Wood Grain from Hearth and Home by Simple Stories. Craft from the Breathe collection. This one's from Bow Bunny Garden Grove with the blue plaid on the back. As you can see, matches quite well. Green perfect. This is from Echo Park, A Slice of Summer. got the blue which isn't on here so I don't know whether this is part of the collection or whether I've just added it and the red This is from Echo Park Pool Party. It's got the navy blue and the yellow. So the stickers I was going to bring in are from Hello Today as a starting point. The cutter parts and um, the fussy cutting sheets I've decided to bring in are this one's from Pink Fresh, Life Right Now. This is also from Pink Fresh, Days of Splendor, with the frames. The pink also matches well. Safe Travels by Simple Stories. I decided to only bring a selection of other collections that match this as a reminder that if when I'm creating layouts if I don't have anything here that matches what I'm looking for to go look to find something that does match. As you can see I've added in a lot here. I also decided to um, 
see what else will match. I've got these Simple Stories stickers. Bliss and Bloom are in here. So you never know. They may make it onto a page. Also got these ones in here that are that may work. I've also got, sorry if there's glare, the resin flowers that I like working with. So I've decided to include them in this kit. I've got these puffy alpha stickers in the turquoise and the pink. with some mini alphas if these don't work on the layout that I'm doing I can always go to my sticker drawer and find something that works I also wanted to incorporate my scraps into this kit and I will say what I'm about to show you there is quite a lot and that is even with being choosy with what I'm bringing in but I intend to die cut and make my own embellishments and I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm actually what photos I'm actually going to be scrapping with this kit maybe once I've got my photos um, picked I might understand what needs to be in here a little bit better so let me just show you the plastic sleeve where I've got them contained. If there's glare, I do apologise. I'm sorry. I might move these across to help with things. So this is what I've pulled together. I'll take it out of the bag for you. So this is what I've put together. There's small off cuts in here. I've got journaling cards in here. Just everything that I thought would go. This is from Hello Today. Because, as I said, I do not know at this stage what I'm scrapping and what will end up on the layout. Got tickets. More journaling cards. So there's just a mix of... everything that may work on this layout got branding strips text T 
to me this is all these little scraps and everything is just a ton of fun and I'm looking forward to seeing what makes it on the layouts paired with this beautiful collection Coco Vanilla Storyteller I hope this inspires you to create your own kits and stash dive to make new kits that are exciting to use because I am excited to see what my pages are going to look like and what I'm going to create with all these supplies that I've got in front of me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.